Well, the parts arrived. I have everything here pretty well, but the cross members that go on the box here, down here, here are two cross members, and uh, a welding mask, so I really can't get to installing it, but I have the outer rockers, the inner rockers, they're more of like a middle rocker kind of, and then all the panels I need to fix the box. Yeah, that's the other rocker there. So I'm gonna start cleaning it up some more and get ready to start cutting the metal off of there. And get it ready to weld these on when I get my mask. Okay, so I started cutting at the truck some more. Getting ready for the cab corner and the rockers here. Um, I'm just kind of thinking now, I'm gonna have to take at least this door off. It looks pretty easy to take off, just the wires and the six bolts or so here. Just because really to cut this right and to get in there and sanding and stuff after, it's gonna be really tough with that on there. But um, now I can see the center one. I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with the back here yet. I'm going to have to cut that and patch that in somehow. But um, it's pretty solid up here. I'm hoping I don't have to go any further up there. I'd like to just add it in maybe right here or something like that. But I don't know. If to change this, then I'm going to have, I don't know. We'll see. That's where we're at right now. Pretty nasty. Trying to fit this cab cord here. It seems to fit pretty good. Other than the top corner here. It needs to go back more, so I have to cut into there. I really don't want to, but it's gonna have to. But I'm gonna wait to do that till I do the center one because it's gonna go in here. This is actually it here. This should be more. <laughs> the center one should be right here. <laughs> but uh, it's coming along. Well, I decided that door was in the way, so I got that off. Now well, we got some more room to get in there. So I'm on to the passenger side here. Just trying to figure out how far I want to go. It's definitely not near as bad as the driver's side. Still has the majority of the center piece, although it is rusted. But it's solid up front. It was had a big hole right here. And then I had another small one here. But up front, it is solid all the way there. This is solid metal. But um, I don't know. It's full of dirt and rust and stuff in there. So I'd kind of like that to get out. I'm not sure whether or not to cut further or not. Probably go a little farther just past this other side of that. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I would like to change this. Right, we'll see. Well, I cleaned it up a bit more, grinded some, some of it down, some of the rust off the bottom around where it's rusting. And um, I cut forward a bit more. Here is where I originally cut. I'm going to weld this cut I made there. And then uh, I cut for a little bit more just because there's building up dirt and stuff here. And then I air blew all the dirt and everything that was in there. It's, it's pretty clean in there now. And it's solid up there. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm just going to fix this part up here. I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with the bottom of this. If I'm going to try and weld a strip of metal in here or not. Um, I, I might have left over from the, the other side. I'm really not sure yet. But um this is where I'm at now. And I start cleaning the other side up and I cut it a little more also. Just clean up a bit. This back cab corner is basically ready to be welded on there. This morning I've been working on this here. I decided I cut along, the, there's a bit of a curve here. I cut right on the edge of it. This, this is still pretty solid. It's got, it's got a crack that I'm gonna fix, but this is still pretty solid and it's a lot of work to get to the top of it. And I figured that'd be the best spot to seam the bottom part of it. I'm just gonna cut. Yeah, right on that edge there, and I'll weld that on the bottom. And yeah, that'll be that. I sand it down inside here. There's a little bit of surface rust and painted that. Clean it up a bit more. Um, I'll probably try and get that bracket out from in there, sand that down, paint that, because that looks really bad. But it's coming along pretty good overall. Oh yeah, I just finished cutting this little piece here off. It's kind of a shame that I bought that just for this little piece, but it is what it is. 
So yeah, I cut that off the bottom of here. But uh, it fits in there. I just tested it. It fits in there pretty good. So I'm going to clean that up, go over that with the wire wheel. I'm going to paint that as much as I can. And then uh, I'm going to go over the edge of this with a flap disc. I'll probably use flap disc on that too. And go over the edge of this with a flap disc and get it ready to be welded on. Same as all that. And I'll paint areas that I can anywhere that's not going to be welded. And everywhere else, then I'll have to do the bare metal. But uh, that's where we're at. I missed a bit here, but... Uh, I've been working on this cab corner. I got the new piece all cut and ready. It's fitted, fits up there great. And then I sanded down the inside, coated it with rust converter. I let that dry. And then now I just finished soaking it with paint. Anywhere that I couldn't get, I used the spray paint, a black um, trim clad rust paint. And then uh, everywhere that I could, I brushed on white just because originally it would have been white. Just try to make it look as original as I can, even though it's not going to be original. But it is what it is kind of thing. And then, um, well, that's drying. I had the paint out. I coated the inside of the panels. I'm going to be welding on there just to give them a bit more protection. There's the rocker, inner rocker, and then the cab corner. And um, also, while I had the paint out, I finished off the, the frame. Any little spots that I couldn't get with the brush, I used the spray paint. And um, while this is drying, I think I'm going to go for lunch. Got the inner piece welded on the inner rocker there. Um, I'm just doing some grinding on it right now, and then I'll probably have to, I'll have to do some more welding on it. And then um, I'll, I'll put a coat of paint on that, and then I'll start installing this cab corner here. And then once I'm done that, the paint should be dry, and I'll be ready to install the rocker. Looks like we'll have at least this side done today. Yeah, I got that piece that was just flopping there. I got that welded on. My welds aren't perfect, I'm no welder, but uh, it'll be solved once I got it done, it'll hold real good. I'll show you a little before I grind it down. There's my welds, they're not perfect, but uh, they'll definitely hold it on there. There's definitely a bit in there. A um, bit in there that I'll have to fill in, it's over there and stuff, but uh, it's on there solid, and it looks like it's in position pretty good overall. Okay, I'm just testing the rocker now. I still didn't grind this down or anything yet, but I'm, I'm moving on to the, the rocker here, and um, that's looking pretty good. I'm actually thinking now I should maybe finish the cab corner in case I have any fire. I can spray fire extinguisher up in there, but uh, it, it, that's looking pretty good. It, it fits pretty pretty nice. One thing I can see is that it needs a little cut off the end here. That doesn't quite line up right. I just eyeballed it without the cab corner, but. Um, yeah, that's turning out nice. Alright, so I'm just starting going over this with the grinder. I'm going to grind it all down. Clean up, clean that up a bit. Then I'll go over and fill it in with the welder. And um, then we're on to the next side. And we're ready for paint, I guess. More welding on there.
going to the driver's side now. Um, the other side still needs a bit of work, but it just finishing touches. I'm going to do it after. I want to get it all closed in, be able to close the doors, put the doors back on, whatnot. Anyway, so I'm onto this inner piece here, inner rocker, and um, it looks like I'm going to probably cut it over a little bit more, just make a nice straight cut there. And then, uh, I'm not sure, I'd like to cut this out. I might be able to get my little Dremel up in the back and cut that off. And then, just, I, I've got a pretty little straight line up top there, if I can continue that across, and put that whole piece in there. And then that should be that. And then I'll start doing the cab corner and the outer. I'm also looking at the back here. I'm going to use the, with the piece that I didn't use from the outer on the other side and patch this here. And then maybe another piece back there. But um, I'll, I'll do that inner first and I'll worry about that after. All right, so driver's side here. Got the outer panel all cut, inside painted. And just finished test fitting. The middle piece they call the inner panel. It's looking pretty good. It needs a little trim at the bottom here. It'd be nice if it could have went a little further, but it is what it is. And um, I'll be ready to weld that on there. And then I also cut a piece for the center, or the inside here, the back, where it was a little rusty there. Got that piece. Painted dry. Oh, right here. Let's cut the bit. Right there. All ready to go. Let's go weld that. Well, actually, we're going to pull this out. We're going to paint that. We're going to paint the, the back piece. And then um, yeah, that piece turned out good. We're going to paint that back piece. Then we'll weld that in. Paint the inside of it. Then weld it in. And we're ready for the other piece. Oh, cab corner, I guess. Then we're ready for the other piece. All right, so we got all the pieces painted up. I got the inner piece, little patch piece I made tacked in there. And uh, we're ready to paint this up. It's got a rust converter on it. And um, then we're ready to tack that center piece in. Okay, so it's all tacked in there. I'm just starting to fill it in here. Just going over it. I'm gonna grind that down after, make sure that's solid. And then I'll be ready for paint.
I'm going to push the filled in now. It's a little popcorn but I'm going to grind it down and it'll still be good. Okay, I got it all ground down. It's looking pretty good. Now I'm just going to go over a bit more weld and then uh, grind it down again and be ready for paint. Getting right in there. So now we got the back cab corner tacked on there. Turned out pretty good. And we got the ro outer rocker panel tacked on. Still needs a little bit of working and getting the right place there. It's not lined up perfect. But I'm still tacking it in. And then I'm going to have a little triangle piece I'm going to have to bend and tack it there after. But overall, it's turned out great. After this, that's a nice piece of filling there, but overall, looking great. It's uncomfortable after a while, holy shit.
it's looking pretty good. Just gonna fill it in a little more, but I'm guarding down and then we'll be ready for paint. I'm gonna finish and touch it. I'm going along, I'm doing the pinch rubs in the bottom here. The pieces are a little off here, but I'm not too worried about that. But I went along and drilled a hole every every about a foot. And um, I drilled one hole right through here, and I put a bolt through to hold it. So if I squeeze it with a pair of vice grips, they kind of miss the line even worse than it is there. So I drilled a hole, and then it'll squeeze it str straight with a bolt. And then I went along and drilled a hole through the one side, welded that, drilled a hole through the back, and welded that. And then now I just got a pair of vice grips holding it once I took the bolt out, and I'm going to weld that up. So that's where I left off with the rockers here. But I got primer on them, and um, just about ready to put, well, this side is ready to put the seam sealer on. And I already got seam sealer on the other side. Just went over all the welds with it just to fill in any little spots and stuff, make that nice and smooth. Any little pinholes could be nice and water doesn't get in and make it rust out again. Oh yeah, I got the rockers and cab corners all primed. This side I even got sanded. It's nice and smooth. This side's ready for paint. Just give it a quick clean and wipe it down. And then I'll show you the other side. I was going to paint this whole side also, but I would like to get this rock guard off here first before I paint it, make it nice and smooth again. I'm just going to do this for now. Sand this down, paint that white, and get that door back on. All right, just doing the clear coat here on the passenger side. The um, last thing I gotta do before I'm ready to put the doors on, and then uh, after that, we can get it outside and uh, be done soon enough. Yeah, I'm gonna clear coat this, and I'll get the door on, and I'll be ready to put the box on, really. All right, so it's all done. Just finished pulling the plastic off. It looks pretty good. I might go over the Bondo and, and touch up a bit after, but overall, I'm happy with it. Um, as you can see on this side, I went over the rock guard. There was just a, I don't know, it was kind of spotty, and I didn't want to get it all covered in chemicals taking it off now, and it wasn't enough to really notice it. For the most part, it's the new metal. It's just up there. I'm kind of up here, but um, overall it looks pretty solid. The other side I already started putting it back together, and the other side there's a lot more rock guard, but I'm gonna take all that off. That's why I left it black, so it's not really a point in painting it, anyways. It looks pretty good overall. It's no longer a rotten truck, anyways. I see you got the rubber all on there. Kind of peeled my tape here and screwed it up a bit. You see the primer underneath, but it's no big deal. Not too worried about that. I get the door back on. I'm taking the rock guard off the doors. Got both the back doors done. I'll have to do the front doors and a bit on the front fender there. <laughs> 